morning friends it is moving day oh yeah I'm tired but uh I still got a bunch of stuff to do I'm gonna go and get more boxes and I'm probably gonna leave my camera here because I'm just bringing my wallet and I'll probably just get back to you guys when all of this shit is in boxes or while I'm packing it in boxes or anything like that for some reason I thought I would only need six boxes but really I need about 10 boxes, so I'm a Looney Tune. Okay, I lied to you guys about going to get more boxes. My moving company just called me and they were like, hey, we're a little bit ahead of schedule. I know we said that we wouldn't be there until like 2 p.m. Um, it's about like 11, 15 right now, currently, and he was like, we are about to finish up a job in Santa Monica and can head your way right after. And I was like, um, I'm not really like that packed yet. Like I still have to put a lot of stuff in boxes and was gonna go get more boxes. And they're like, ma'am, like we're a moving company, we have boxes. It's like we can just bring up more so I was like great. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, see you soon So instead what I'm about to go do now is get a cashier's check um, From all of my like moving costs for my next place And I'm gonna go and take that to him and get the keys so that when the movers are here I can just like have the keys and move them in I don't need to like wait on somebody to give me the keys You know what I mean? The guy on the phone goes I mean, I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible and I bet you are too So I feel like I shouldn't keep them waiting like it's just gonna be very swift and it's also three guys and like one apartment and there's me so I mean we have like four people moving this place like it's gonna go pretty quick I feel like this time is so different than my last move it's crazy but I still didn't learn you shouldn't do anything last minute don't save all of your packing for one day okay like Megan if you're watching this in a year when you're about to move again do it in four days do it in a week pace yourself Jesus blah the movers are here blah okay I'm gonna show you when everything is empty when this place is empty shit Wow. Bruh, 406, you were good to me for the time being. Oh my gosh, they just finished up and everything is really gone. Look, I dropped like a plant over here behind my trunk forever ago and I just kind of like left it there and now there's like hella soil and just so much dust. Wow. Empty as hell. This is just stuff that I'm gonna put in my fridge. Um, this is the rest of my stuff that came from my fridge and my freezer. I'm just gonna get it at like a different time because I'm leaving all of this stuff here that's like the curtains that go up there or came with the unit. I'm playing a tune if you can hear that, some Nako for setting the mood. But this is all of the stuff that I'm probably gonna bring with me um, also at a different time, but I'm gonna head over there with my backpack now and um, just come back for the rest of this stuff. But Wow, it's like a heavy echo in here right now. And the floor is just so fucking dirty from like breaking down my bed and wow. So long 250 South Kenmore. No one ever lived here, it was the worst experience of my life. Just kidding, kind of. Not really though, really awful place. Terribly run, no dishwasher, no AC. The area, dirty as hell. One perk, walking distance to California donuts. Other than that, don't come here, don't. <laughs> Before Lindsay left last night, she was walking around my apartment going, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And I was like, yes, exactly. Fuck this place. I was just pointing with my middle finger. Well, I'll see you at the new place. <laughs> I'm gonna be a downtown bitch. I'm so excited. Okay. New home sweet home. Ha! <sighs> Oh my god okay so my kitchen is right here I'm gonna give you guys like a nice empty apartment tour finally have a dishwasher I'm so stoked about this freaking fridge oh wow then we got the bathroom in here it's like all dark wood and whatnot hey and um yeah bath shower shower head looks tight you know toilet the whole nine yards I love the blue backsplash it already matches with all of my kitchen stuff it's great I think right here I'm gonna put like my workspace and my desk um, right here is just gonna be like my little tiny table and then this is the space man freak yeah my bed situation is gonna go like over here next to the window I have like a little fire escape slash balcony and the closet is what I'm super stoked about too because it has all this room ah bless bless walk-in closets oh my gosh dude I'm so fucking excited wow 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 and it's currently 94 degrees in here but um, I just put it on some cold air, so 
Hopefully that's gonna work out. No, come on, let's turn it up a bit. Okay, let's move in. Everything has been moved in. The movers are gone. And dude, I don't even know where to start right now. Also, I had to take my shirt off because it's 500 degrees. I do have AC though, but it's just a little bit um complicated. I think I got it working fine currently, but um, it's just like very finicky and like confusing and I don't really, like I don't know how to work it yet. So I'm gonna have um, my landlord guy help me out a little later tonight, but it's not too bad. I have some air blowing currently. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to have AC. Ah, life's simple luxuries. Okay, well, I don't even know where to fucking start, honestly, right now. Like, I really don't know where to start. Oh my god, guys, this is gonna be like my new home. Like, ah, ah, when I was sprinting back up the stairs um, to come up to this unit, like, once all the movers left, I was just like, oh my god, I'm home. Ah, it's so weird to think about. I still have to go and get a couple of things at my old apartment, but honestly, like, I'm just gonna wait like an hour or so before I do that because I'm gonna situate myself. I'm gonna eat an apple and. Oh, I'm gonna put on a tune too once I figure out where my record player is. I'm loving my single banged look today. Beautiful, stunning, simply sweet. I lit a candle in celebration of unpacking my entire kitchen. Um, I'm taking each little section as it goes. So over here we just have all of our staple items like pastas, rices, and then at the bottom here we just have like all of my spices and oils and you know that good stuff. Up here is just a bunch of vases. In here is my silverware and just you know you can see that pair of chopsticks just in case. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with over here currently. I feel like I should keep my dog treats here for when we come in from walks. I can just grab one. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this here though as well as the toaster, who knows. This shelf would probably be hung right here for my keys and whatnot. I got my pots and pans and my, um, you know, lettuce rinser. This isn't gonna stay here either. I just don't know where else to put it right now. Down here is just all of my cleaning supplies and stuff like that. But this is the cupboard that I'm the most proud of right now. I literally just had an OCD scene, a whole episode right now. <laughs> um, I like ordered all of the cups from high to low and like big to small kind of. It makes sense to me. But yeah, that looks tight. I have so many mugs. And then I just have like my dishes down here, plastic cups over there, glass cups, and like jars and guacamole maker at the top. I just laid out my stuff around the sink. Let's turn this down. And then in this one, I have have all of my teas just laid out all nicely and my coffee in the back and like other separate like loose leaf teas and I have my Tupperware and then just like stuff that I never really use. That basket is like obviously seasonal. These are like Thanksgiving pie cutters and then just coasters. This stuff is for my blender as well. I think I'm gonna keep that there because like I'm gonna get all of my produce to make them out right here and it would just be convenient. And then here is literally the only food that I have. I have two cereals, some Tostitos, and these like chocolate coffee bite things. But this one's empty. I really just have to get food. I don't know why I'm showing you guys all this, but yeah, my kitchen's done. Now I think I'm gonna move this way and battle the unpacking of my bathroom. Also, I literally don't have enough closet space, even though I have a giant walk-in closet, so all of this stuff is temporarily here. Yeah, I know, I'm insane. I need to get rid of a lot of clothes. <laughs> okay, I'm currently about to go back to my old apartment and pick up my remains of my things and talk to my landlord, which I really don't wanna do because I know that she's gonna ask me for money, which is just annoying. Basically because I didn't give them a 30 days notice of me leaving, um, I have to pay like part of my security deposit or something. Like, I don't even know. Like the way they explained it was just absurd. So I was like, no. So I'm nervous to talk to her, but should be fine. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I just did before we leave. My closet is just a straight up mess, but I did sort this and I'm mad proud of it. Up here is just shorts that I rarely ever wear, but when I do, you know, jean shorts, jeans, and then all of my fucking hoodies, which I just like, I just love how I did it. I love the color coordination. I love that I can see some of the designs. Um, and I just think this is great. I love this shelf and I'm really glad that my unit came with this. Okay, well, I'm gonna bounce now. So I'll see you guys when I'm back here. So it's about 11.40 now. And I just realized that the only things that I've eaten all day have been a granola bar and an apple. That's appalling. So I'm having some stir fry with uh, tofu in there for some proteins, you know, little Larrington. He's just checking everything out. He's kind of confused as to where we are. I can understand why. Me too, buddy. Oh yeah, Lindsay dropped Larry off, by the way. I forgot to say that. She was taking care of him while I was packing and all that jazz. Let me sit down with this right now. Let me have a divine 
first meal at my new apartment. Candlelit dinner for one. Okay, I finished unpacking my bathroom and this is the last thing I'm going to unpack tonight. It's about almost 1 a.m. currently, it's 12.51. Yeah, baby. I decided I need to get some kind of like a perfume tray type thing for my sprays and such, but I'm probably just gonna keep my single makeup bag up here or get some kind of like small makeup storage right there. I don't know, I wanna like upgrade my makeup storage, so we'll see if that happens. But yeah, I just have some hoopla under here and some uh, hoopla in here. And you guys don't care. I literally don't know why I'm showing you this. Like, I think I'm just doing things to do things. Also, I need to do something about this. And also, I don't know where my shower curtain is. Like, I had one from my last apartment. Not the one I was just at, because that one had a glass door for the shower, but I put it somewhere and I don't know where it is. But yeah, my uh, shower rack is all unpacked now. My towels are hanging and all that good stuff. Look at this little man. He's like, I just wanted to go to bed. I like threw his bed out of a box and he like came and found it. You're such a cutie pie. Let's put your bed closer to my bed, okay? And we'll go to bed. Okay, I am in my little nook of a bed now <laughs> and I'm about to go to sleep for the first night in my new place. Yeah, baby. Sometimes the first night is a little scary because like you don't know the sounds of the apartment yet. You know what I mean? So um, fingers crossed that I'll stay alive tonight. I know I will. <laughs> Are you gonna sleep in your bed or mine? He's like, oh, yours looks better. Sleeping under the covers just like his brother. Good night. But I guess this is the end of this vlog, moving day one. I'm probably gonna vlog tomorrow too, honestly, just cause why the heck not. Also, I wanted to say that there's going to be a delay in Sister Summer. Like I was supposed to be uploading today, August 1st, but because I was moving all day, I didn't upload yesterday's vlog. And um, I don't really know when I'm going to be able to do that because I don't have internet. So you'll see these when you see these, haha. -ha. But I'm gonna try to get these moving vlogs up as fast as possible for you guys. So maybe Maybe tomorrow I'll go and edit at like Lindsay's place or something and um, get my stuff up there so that I don't have to use all of the data by using my personal hotspot on my phone because that's what I got to do until I get um, a router here, like a Wi-Fi router. But yeah, I'm just rambling now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Moving day one is done. And I will just see you guys in moving vlog day two. We'll unpack some more. We'll chat. We'll, you know, reminisce. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go to freaking sleep now. Stay smiling. Bye. I'm so happy. Hello, new world. Here we come on the Twinkie trains with the hood screaming. We on our way. Can't forget where I come from. So I extend my hand to my 